Stella Bell here, and today we're going to go over some Twitter analytics for the Hello Telos account. I started uh, working on the Hello, uh, Hello Telos account starting December 18th, and so let's take a look at um, the analytics for December and uh, January. Now, remi I want to remind you that I wasn't the only one running the account in, in December, but I did a lot of stuff, and, and most of the um, holiday um, strategies were created by me. For example, the the top tweet in December was the giveaway for the Christmas, and that um, generated th 37,000 organic engagements. Now, the, the giveaways are very successful in getting lots of new followers, but I was told that uh, later the the Telus Foundation doesn't want to do any of those types of giveaways. Um, I didn't know that at the time, but now I do. All right, so let's take a look at, this is December. So like I was mentioning, uh, I think Katie and maybe some other people were also on the team running the Twitter account. Um, so it's kind of mixed results on this on this December. But... 601 new followers is a very large amount. Um, that's, <laughs> wow, that's that's quite a bit. And that mostly came from, I believe, the uh, Christmas giveaway. Simply because it traveled so much further than regular tweets. 37,000 reach is a lot, especially because it's not paid. It's all organic, meaning we didn't put any ads on this, on that. So um, these are all the tweets. So you can see the different engagement numbers there. Um, there's most tweets don't get 37,000. They get maybe 5,000, 9,000. 10,000 is good. Um, you know, that that's a decent number for organic reach. So let's just look at December 18th through the 31st when I was primarily um, doing all the activity. So this time period generated 115,000 um, impressions over this 14 days. Now the holiday season, of course, is pretty active. People are looking for, you know, different, <laughs> I don't know, they're looking for fun times. So that's why it's so important to have something fun for the holidays because Everyone has lots of time off to kind of, you know, explore things. So, all right, let's take a look at all of these. You can see the numbers. Everything pales in comparison to that tweet, honestly. Um, giving away things is really the the best way to reach people. I mean, simply because everyone wants a chance to win something. Um I learned that through even my own Twitter account. I got like 300 new followers by just doing one giveaway. I don't do them that often. Um, but I do see that if you want to boost your follower followers, a giveaway is really the correct way to do that. Okay, so that was, this is December 18th through the 31st. And the next set of data we're going to look at, once I was told that I cannot do any more giveaways, um, I was like, okay, we got to get more creative with different ways to do this. And I'm still struggling with a way to get a bunch of new followers because it is, it is, um, it is something that is a, I don't know, strategically it's like, I always count on doing at least one giveaway per month just so that the follower count is constantly going up in a in a positive way. Okay, so the next part um is the video view data. So the videos uh resulted in 2.4k views over this 14-day period. Um with the top one, the the uh the art that I did a lot of people complained about that. Um, I got the okay from above, so I went with it. <laughs> videos, native videos and Twitter are really, really good to do. 
And I started doing that pretty much right away. Um, it just, it gets more interaction because then people don't have to click away from Twitter. They can just watch the video right within the app, which is, Twitter addicts love that because they don't have to click out of it. That's, you know, it's always better to serve all your media within the app that you're in so that they don't have to go away. So let's took look at January through February. New followers, 176. Tweet impressions, 176,000. Top tweet got 9,040 organic impressions. So here's the top tweet. Ah, CPU. It's, um, have questions about CPU? So visit our AMA with Douglas Horn. That was the top tweet um, in January. These are all organic views. We don't do any paid advertising yet. I don't know if we will, but these are just organic. Um, so as you can see, here's the tweet activity. Oh, 176,000 point, um, yeah, impressions over this 30 to 32 day period. So here's the top tweets in the order of most impressions. Okay. So we got CPU is number one. The tweet about the Chinese New Year is number two. And then number three is uh, Scatter has submitted a TELUS worker proposal. And here's where you get it. And I think that one had a video in it. As you can see, it's, you know, getting 5,000 organic views is pretty decent. Anyway, as you can see, the likes are... Everything on the right-hand side gives you an overview. How many likes, how many um, retweets, etc. And it gives you all the averages. So two, two replies per day on average. You can see it in descending order. It's always very interesting to see, hey, which tweets actually worked um, the best. It's kind of interesting. I, I didn't know that the Chinese New Year tweet would be um, successful. That's why it's always important to try different things and find out, look at your, look and see what actually is working. Because, you know, the idea is to get more reach. So let's look at some video view data for this period, January through February. So it's 4.4K views over this 30-day tube period. So it's interesting to notice there that first, the, the top video that got the most views is uh, Chain Spectre. And it that's the one that's showing the scatter um, proposal on Chain Spectre. It's interesting. There's... Um, in the order, there's Happy Money Man, and then there's Martial Life. All right, so let's take a look at this, uh, the one that got the most views, and just check it out. It had music with it, which always helps. Um, but it shows you even how long people pay attention, which is pretty interesting. There's your, all of the, the data in regards. So, this worked. So, I, I think that going forward, showing things like voting and all of the features set with music, I think is a good, good thing to do. Obviously it is because it, I think it's probably also scatter. Scatter probably was responsible. Everyone knows scatter. So it's like scatter is a popular topic. And so that combined with the video, it seemed to work. Okay. That about wraps it up. Um, I just, how does this compare to previous months? So let's take a look. Um, I did not, I was not involved in November. So let's take a look at November just to see a comparison so that you can understand maybe my value. Um, so 70,000 tweet impressions were in November and I basically added a hundred thousand. I'm not taking all the credit here. It's everyone is working together. Adding me equals adding a hundred thousand more tweet impressions. So what can we learn from all of this? Well, the first thing is that giveaways are actually very effective in getting new followers and lots of engagement and reach.
Also, here's an update on the Creative Commons Telos library that can be found at flickr.com photos telos cc. Now, I've completed 50, and I have 50 left to create. So, remember, anyone can use any of these photos for any purpose whatsoever. So, the idea is to make flyers and graphics so that uh, computer programmers and people that don't like to do art, they can just go in here and grab something and use it for a blog, update, really any purpose whatsoever. Um, I started doing the Telos cats. I got a little bit inspired by that. Some people don't like it, but I think it's funny. So I started doing this whole series of the Telos space cats. There's a whole bunch of them in there, as you can see. There's different cats with the spacesuit. And people may not understand it, but I feel that Telos is very advanced, very futuristic, and also very friendly. So I feel like the Telos cat embodies all of those. So also we have some more standard graphics that I think people will like. Um, as I do more, I'll be editing and getting rid of maybe some that I don't like as much. That's just how I work. I create a whole bunch of different things and then... Uh, select it down so you can see all the different uh, folders in there so the idea behind the creative commons um, art library is so that the entire telos community can start thinking in a collective way and adding to this library and please use this these images they are there for people to use them I did notice that Paul Haviland, he used this on Twitter for his tweet, which I was happy to find that. Until the next time, I will see you later, and goodbye.